Why? Because we are we need to know how to reach people. Because we might have been in church our entire life, but they've also been indoctrinated with their religion possibly their entire life. And sometimes it's hard to break the mold because it's been drilled into them so much. But yes, the Holy Ghost has to deal with them. But they have to be able to realize that they not only have a need for Christ, but that is not anything that we can do. That is through faith in Jesus Christ alone. And when we are witnessing or telling other people about Christ, it's great that we've been coming to church our entire life. We know that we are saved. But we are dealing with a very unchurched population. And we have to be able to break down religious quote unquote words like repentance, salvation, faith, sanctification. Can we break things down enough to explain it to a five year old? Because if we're really, it's been said that if you're really going to be effective in speaking, it has to be something that a five year old can understand. If they can understand it, then you're good to go. Now, when we are telling other people about Christ, we need to sit back before we even go out and think about our quote-unquote religious terms because they might have no idea what we mean. And we have to be able to break it down to explain to them. Well, repentance is when you realize that you have a sin in your life and you have a need for Christ. And that you confess your sins to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. We have to be able to break this thing down. Because we're not just going out there to build up our quote-unquote religion. We really are. We are out to win people to Christ, to point them to Christ. Why? Because it's not just a religious system that we belong to. We have the real thing. And we want to take as many people with us to heaven as possible. Why? Because heaven and hell are real. And when you die, you're going to go to one place or the other. You're not going to be stuck in purgatory. You're not going to be off in no man's land. When you die, you don't just cease to exist. But either you're going to go to heaven and hell. And we need to become like those in the book of Jude that saved with fear, plucking them out of the fire. Any thoughts, any questions? If not, let's go ahead and bow our heads in prayer and prepare our hearts for service. Gracious Heavenly Father, we give you all praise and glory for everything you've done for us and shall continue to do, because you're God who reigns on high and that there's none like you, Lord. Even right now, we rebuke every attack of the enemy that should come our way. We pray that you set your angels at the four corners of the property above and below, that no attack of the enemy may penetrate. I pray that our hearts and our minds will be in one mindset and one accord that we may worship you in sincerity and truth, Lord, that the Holy Ghost may have his way, making himself visible if he so chooses. I pray, Lord, that you anoint the song leader and the musicians, Lord, as they lead us in the songs you have us to sing, Lord. Give them a special blessing as they praise you upon the string instruments and the vocal cords. Anoint the pastor as he brings forth the word today, anoint his mind and his lips to bring forth your message, Lord. Anoint our mind and our hearts to receive the message that you have for us today. May it take root in our minds that we may remember it throughout the week, Lord. But even greater than that, that it would take root in our hearts, that we would uh, be even more transformed into the very image of Jesus Christ. And we ask all these things in the name of Jesus.